Welcome to TMZ, the Malden Zone. I'm your host this evening, Joe Piantadosi Jr. Uh, today is officially the actual Memorial Day. It is Wednesday, May 30th. And uh, today is Memorial Day. Uh, of course, it's celebrated on the, uh, I guess it's the fourth Monday, or the last Monday of the month that was enacted by Congress in the year. I couldn't tell you, but um, actually today is Memorial Day. I, I was before my time. So um, maybe it wasn't, though. I was born in 61. But I don't know when they officially became, um, I think, Congress. Maybe, maybe my guest, who is a, uh, <laughs> who is a known uh, historian and uh, the mayor of this fine city, can help us. Anyway, um, tonight my guest is the mayor, uh, Mayor Gary Christensen. Uh, now we have to go to the two-shot. Here we go right, right. there. Good Excellent. to Good see you, see. always. Now it's funny. Now you're hosting. A, you're going to be doing the third week of the month, I I'm heard. just is trying to true? follow your lead. Well, it's <laughs> Well, the funny thing is, you know, I've been dying to have you on when you became mayor because you were on in the past as a city councilor. Yep. You were on as a mayoral candidate. You were on mayor-elect. Yep. And I never had you on as mayor. So yep. officially, you're the mayor, and it's nice to have Well, thanks to you, it doesn't feel any different. I feel you're right at home. Oh, good. I'm glad yeah. you're here. And, and, and Francis loves having you. You're going to be doing the third Wednesday of the month. Yes. Which is great. So... I'm the uh, the odd man out though with two mayors between Ed, Lucy, and yourself. Right. So I'm the only. <laughs> You're like a mayor though, Joe. Uh, you know that's how we treat you. <laughs> right. That's funny. And don't forget about Thank our you. third guest tonight. Oh yeah, we let's <laughs> talk about this. Look at this trophy we have. Francis, can we zero on that? Yeah, Explain yeah. that. What what well, is that? That's why I was a few minutes late. I was at uh, Malden High School for their sports banquet to receive we, the yeah. official cup okay. from the Malden uh, uh, Melrose tournament. Okay, this says held. Malden vs. Melrose Mayor's Cup Challenge in recognition of Mayor Howard and Mayor Dolan for the dedication, collaboration, development for the playing fields at Pine Banks. Yep. Donated by Dan Keefe, Malden High School Athletic Director. Okay, and what so what happened, this mean? trophy was uh, in uh, the city of Melrose last year, and uh, Malden, through its uh, great players, was able to win in baseball, softball, lacrosse. It's a combination of points. Wow. And was able to bring the trophy back home. Fantastic. So I just received it, officially received it wow. from Dan Keefe and the students, and it will be prominently displayed in the so mayor's office So it's kind of like tomorrow. the Stanley Cup. And oh, yeah, I've been carrying it all over the square. Wow, that is great. That <laughs> I might even take it out after with us. That's good. Yeah, take it to dinner with us. It'll be <laughs> nice. You can join us. So I just uh, want to say thank well, you to great. them. That's great. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to be a little self-serving because my son, who's 13, I'll start with this story. I wasn't going to tell you the story because I'm not in the in the. Francis, are we, are we in a two-shot, Francis? Here we are. Thank you. Uh, my son, uh, he's in a, uh, he goes to McCall Middle School in Winchester, seventh grade. Uh, they had the big school concert last Thursday night. I go to the, the concert. My wife is uh, selling raffle tickets. She's involved, involved in all the committees and stuff for that. I invited my brother-in-law. It was so crowded. It was so hot. Winchester doesn't have air conditioning in their auditorium. It was the old high school. It's now the middle school. Unless behind me, that's the closest I can get him to me. And, you know, sixth grade saying, seventh grade saying, he's in seventh. My brother-in-law tapped me, said, can we leave? I said, I don't want to leave just yet. I said, they have a final number. Thank God I stayed. So the ath the, uh, athletic, the music director gets up and he said, um, you know, we, as you know, the eighth graders are moving on after next couple yeah. weeks. And uh, we give awards to eighth graders. He said, but um, this year decided we're going to skip the sixth grade because they have next year in the eighth grade as well. But I'm going to give awards to the seventh, to two seventh grade students, a, a girl and a boy, who have uh, exemplary grades. He went on to say grades. Uh, they give 100 percent every day. They come in with a smile on their face. They get along with you know their uh, friends and peers. And I mean, it just went on and on and on. Accolades. I'm sitting there, not even thinking. Yeah. Would be my son. And they introduced the girl first. She came up, took it got the award and then mentioned my son's name and what really did me in was my and to hear your son who's 13 <laughs> got a standing ovation i mean the place was packed kids, people were screaming hooting hollering it was so nice to hear yeah and uh so anyway he got a huge trophy it's called the school spirit award which i never even heard of and <laughs> didn't know there was going to be an award that night so now i'm seeing two trophies yeah well week, i knew so. about this one and i was uh coveting this since i became mayor and to be able to have it is a great tribute to the uh, students who coincidentally uh this saturday june 2nd yes both malden high school um varsity softball will be hosting a playoff game here in malden at callahan park beginning at 4 p.m wow. while they're doing that the malden high school varsity uh boys baseball Yes. We'll be hosting a playoff game at Pine Banks Park at 4 p.m. this oh, Saturday. Wow. So, Who are they playing? Do you know the other team? Uh, well, they get the winner. I, I believe Malden High School softball gets the winner of Bill Rick of Woburn 
and I'm not sure who the varsity baseball Excellent. gets. Yeah, wow. so um, yeah, a lot going on at that school, and yeah, yeah, that's tribute to Principal Brown and the rest of the leadership there. They've really. And I think it's a tribute to the mayor. The ah, city. <laughs> we'll see. This is great, though. Uh, yeah. Well, that's great. I have one more story to tell that I'm not going to talk about me anymore, but um, Francis wanted me to mention. A few years back, there was a, uh, a few weeks back, there was a... Um, He's not going to give me another issue to work on, is No, he? no, 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 no. <laughs> this was, uh, there was a Piantidosi, what was his first name? I forget his name. Was it, um, I can't think of the gentleman's name that was arrested. He unfortunately killed his girlfriend and wife. Um, okay. It was on the, all the news. It, my phone was ringing off the hook. We had the Globe call us, the Herald, uh, Fox News, uh, all, all the stations called it. Unfortunately, there's no relation to let everybody know. But there was a Piantidosi that... Uh, Francis, you don't know the guy's first name, do you? I thought I knew it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm surprised. I'm glad you didn't hear about it. But um, pretty funny. Last summer I was traveling. I was actually in, in Orlando, Florida last August. And I received some phone calls that... Had, of course, I didn't get the local papers in Florida. And uh, there was a Piantidosi. He was called the um, Remorseful Robber. He, uh, at, at a market basket somewhere in the Methuen area, uh, stole a lady's pocketbook. And I guess he took it home and realized what he did and he decided to return it to her. So he returned it to her house and I guess he got slapped on the wrist or whatever the case was. But he was a Piantidosi, no relation, same spelling though. So of course I got countless calls from that back right, in August. Right. Now fast forward to about two or three weeks ago, the same guy brutally killed his uh, his Jesus. his girlfriend, who was the mother of two children, you know, they were old, yeah. and um, you know, see it in the name on television. It was like, it was like, you know, the the news breaking story yeah. on all the major networks yeah. for several days, and literally, we had. Um, I, I felt like I was, uh, you know, screening off paparazzi, calling the the company, yeah. and and someone from the Globe actually came in, and all I wanted to know was it was it a relative, right? And one guy that actually called me and said. He traced our family tree and couldn't find them. And I'm thinking, oh my God, they really are doing their due diligence. But yeah. Anyway, yeah. So just to clear the record yeah. and make it straight, there's no relation whatsoever. Okay. All right. So just I want to do. Well, the that. other story I want to tell you about before getting to the budget is the Kiss concert. You went to the Kiss concert. Yes. Yep. I took my niece for the first time in her life, and uh, she really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I She's think nine, right? Your niece. Yes. Yep. Um, and I think we have some pictures to prove it. Excellent. Yeah, this one. That's you, that's meeting Adam Lambert. You with Adam Lambert. Wow. Yep. And so, uh, of course, he's my tall. He's huh? very tall, and wow. um, but very nice. He was very kind oh, to wow. uh, look at that. That's going look in the mayor's that. office. Look at that. That's yeah. got to be framed. He was great. Oh, he action. signed something too. Yep, right? he did something. This was all for my mother, who was a yeah. rabid uh, Adam Lambert fan. Really? She's a member of Glam Nation. Oh, really? As am I. Oh, um, excellent. And uh, she, uh, he signed a card saying to my mom, get well soon. Oh, that's and so nice. not only that, a little smiley face, Excellent. and he signed it. Oh, wow. So he was a gracious host, as was Billy Coster, and his team was outstanding. Yeah, they really made us feel here. welcome yeah. and be oh, a part good. of the concert. Excellent. Yeah. So and now you thank the you. Whole, you're welcome. You were there all day when you there? Yeah, we, uh, for half of the show. Really? You know, so we went from uh, the beginning till you know, being uh, able sure, to meet so. Adam Lambert. When, uh, uh, what other acts performed? Uh, that, would, that would be known. Yeah, I mean. um, make sure this is yeah and I forget the other ones. You know, we were so enthralled with the show that we uh, just were, um, you know, blown away by having the opportunity yeah. to meet someone oh, that's like great. Adam Lambert. Yeah, I'm so glad yeah. that worked so out well for you guys. Yeah, you know, um, as I wrote you, you know, life is about moments, yeah, and we really yeah. created one for yeah. my family. Well, happy to and Yeah. That was very nice. You do so much for so many people, and you've done a lot of You don't know how hot it was, because um, my mom's birthday was Monday. No. So I kept the autograph in like a temperature oh, no control kidding. drawer. Oh, know, I, I protected it. It had locks on it no uh, to be able to give it to her on her birthday. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Yeah. Excellent. So she's so grateful glad. to you. I believe she's oh. watching tonight. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, yeah. I'm glad she's She'll feeling better. Yeah. Happy birthday. So her birthday would be what date? The 20th? Uh, 28th. 28th. Wow. Yeah. So the Jesus. next time we'll get her down there, you know, she's Absolutely. a little sick this yeah. time, but we'll get her there Excellent. at some point. Oh, that's really yeah. good. <laughs> well, you know, she taught you well because, and I knew this from you from years ago, and you you handwrite thank you notes, which yes. is a, it was is a lost art. No one does it, and I know you've done it most of your life. It yes. seems like I've when you were city. I got countless letters from you notes over the years, which is nice. I yep. mean, and, and so I think that's just part of my upbringing from my family to Sheriff Tapala, 
Um, yeah. I've just been able to maintain that going forward. And I do find it to be effective when I'm writing them. Yeah. I think to myself, does anybody really read these? Yeah. And then when you're out and about, you yeah. know, like tonight and here. The well, you have beautiful like, penmanship, number one. <laughs> but I don't know where the, that came from. Which is nice. But yeah. I mean, as the mayor, you could say, hey, you know, take, you know, take, right. a, take a memo. And you right. just so sit there and handwrite it. Well, I know my my mom and father always taught me that it's the little things in life. So it's true. for students and other people trying to make a difference in Malden, yep. I try to do that little note card. That's to great. Hopefully, keep them going. That's great. Now, I know you're going to talk about the budget, but yes. let's, let's talk about this four months now, right? Yes, feels like four years. It doesn't uh, really. It's almost five five months tomorrow. That's, oh, that's right, June. Yeah. yeah. Well, well you third, came in January, February, March, April, May. Wow. Unbelievable. If you ask me what I did a week ago, I'd have to go to the calendar. It's no just kidding. Been, it's been a wild ride. So let me ask you, before we go to the budget, yeah. what is the average day of the mayor? What's it like? What time it's do you get up in the morning? What time? I mean, you... Yeah, I would say, uh, generally speaking, it starts at 8 in the morning and gets over about 10 at night. Every night? Yeah, every night, wow. including weekends. And this isn't even a campaign right. season. I mean, this right. is just doing mayoral duties. Yeah, but I think the thing I'm trying to do at the outset is not, um, you know, say to people, okay, I was elected, I'll see you in a couple of years. I'm right. trying to remain as aggressive as Excellent. I was in the campaign trail because, oh. honestly, I think that's what it's going to take today, you know, particularly with the landscape that's in front of us of, you know, less jobs and, right. you know, less resources from the federal and state government. So I'm really trying to give it my all to yeah. separate us from other cities and well, towns. Well, I hear great things about you, and everyone's raving about it. All yeah, the we're using the you social do. media. I mean, even on this budget message, we yes. did a video message to the residents, wow. letting them know, you know, if they didn't want to read this, they get a two-minute video clip of what's in it. Wow. Now, let me ask you, so you said even weekends, so you don't go to the office on the weekends, I Yeah, assume. I do. Yeah, last uh, Saturday we were there from 10 in the morning until 7.30 at night oh working on this. Oh, my God, really? And wow. it's just not me. It's uh, We've got a great team, Ellie Cushing, who you know, yep. former Ward 1 City Council. She's she? the HR director. Chuck oh, really? Rannigan, City Controller. Melissa Smith from HR. Uh, Ron Cochran, who is our online services uh, uh, communication and uh, specialist. He put all of this online. Wow. So... There is no paper copies of the budget. No kidding. It's, it's all web-based. Yeah, so eco-friendly. I like that. Yeah, and it was the intent. I mean, you remember some of those oh, the yeah. binders were a yeah. thousand pages yeah, yeah. or whatever they were. I just felt let's try a different way of right. showing people, you know, where their taxpayer dollars are going. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So now, uh, any time for enjoyment? I mean, all all this work. Hopefully this summer. Yeah, okay. I really need to. Uh, I'm starting to feel it now mm -hmm. physically. You know. Um, I could feel it, you know, even it's hard to sleep now because mm -hmm. of the stress right. and all the issues that are involved. Yeah. So I'm hoping, uh, you know, after July 4th. Now, it's funny, Richard Richard Howard, who um, was a guest, but also I see him in Winchester, he's the town manager, and he said the biggest change is, is that nights is free. Yes. Because, as and it made me think, I always remember about campaigning, but I mean, there's also activities at night. I'm sure there's different events you attend. Yep. And Just tonight we had an event for Senator uh, Catherine Clark. She oh. had a get together in Malden, and then you know we had the presentation at Malden High School for this. Oh, wow. So um, it's constant. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I don't want to do is disappear for a period of time. Right. I really want to be there right. to you know make people believe in what it is we're trying to do. Excellent. Yeah. Good to hear. Good yeah. to hear. So you want to go right into the budget now? It's up to you. Uh, I mean, some other. I can give you a funny uh, faux yeah. pas sure, if you want, because sure. yeah. you know I'm a specialist yeah. with those. Yeah. Uh. I was at a Malden High School uh, forum a couple weeks ago, and we're going around, around the table introducing each other. So Dana Brown says I'm the principal of Malden High School, and then um, there was another person. You know, I'm so and so, and then the next person says, um, you know, I forget her exact name, but you know, for instance, Jackie Jones. Yeah. You know. Uh, I'm the GPS coordinator, so they yes. kept going around the table. I leaned over to Councilor Crow, who was sitting next to me. I said, aren't times a little rich to have a GPS coordinator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said to me, that's graduation, promotion, success, uh, dum dum. Oh, you know gee. I, mean? <laughs> I was thinking they had a that's, GPS yeah, coordinator. Yeah, 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 that's funny. And uh, so, you know, I've had a couple of faux pas like that. Yeah, but yeah. overall, it's been a great ride. I'm yes. um, really honored, I would say, the best way to describe yeah. it, despite all the work and issues right. that are involved to be uh, mayor of the city. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, so um, this will be the telltale. You know, we've been working on this budget since February. Wow. We started in February no because we want to do, you know, Mayor Howard told me on the way out, you know, it's been 16 years, really try and look at things differently as mm -hmm. you move forward. And so what we did with the budget is really take a fresh look at, um, you know, everything we're doing, what are some of the things we should be doing differently, how should we be doing them. And that's what we presented last night to the city council in the form of a $152 million budget. 
Wow. So it's a, a lot of work. Um, okay. No, no increases in tax. You know, none of that. No fee increases, tax increases. Beautiful. We did a lo lot of restructuring from within. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, there were 20 positions not in the school department that were either laid off or not backfilled uh, because they were open. Right, right. And we took those savings and allocated them to some of the priorities I thought I heard along the campaign trail, like mm -hmm. yeah, teen center, mm -hmm. uh, more summer jobs for teens. Mm -hmm. uh, more programs for our veterans and seniors, and um, a recreation department as well. You know, trying to create activities for our teens and adults alike. So, it's a four-page uh, document that I brought for you. You can, oh, you know, if you want to take a. Well, I'd love to. Yeah. You know, this is the executive summary. This is the only thing we do print. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so it was a lot of work and. Um, you know, I really feel good about you know, where well, that's your background too. I mean, that's what you did. That helped. I thought it was, you know, as I was sitting there with the staff, uh, pulling together this document, I thought it was a great benefit to mm -hmm. have served on House Ways and Means and mm -hmm. being budget director for Sheriff DePaula. Mm -hmm. um, I could tell, you know, each and every day that I was able to participate just as the staff were on creating this document. Right. Oh, well. Yeah. Excellent. So, okay. I don't know if we have a screenshot. Yeah, uh, we, yes, we do it. Of the. We know which you, you ready to do it. Yeah, yeah let's do it just, now. Uh, just exactly to show them. You want to just scroll it slowly? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, all we need is like the top two pages. Okay. We're ready. Well, that's good. So this is the um, what you see first when you go online. I'm so put my glasses on <laughs> if you don't mind. I'm yeah. Oh, no, okay. But there's the executive summary. There's a summary of revenues. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a breakout of the revenues, then there's a summary of expenses by category, and then there's a summary of expenses by department. Now below that next line, that's the department detail. Okay. So if you wanted to know what the department did, you know, what are the changes we made, yep. what is the salary information in detail, and what are the operating and maintenance costs, mm -hmm. you can find them for each department How's by scrolling that? down. That's great. Okay. So you could see them all uh, well, right there. You just want to do a few pages. Yeah, and if you want, we can open up. Uh, can you click on and open up yes, one I of them? Can. Yeah, why don't we look at, uh, for instance, uh, you know, the controller's office. Okay. So let me click on about. So that's a description of what yep. they do, and there's the contact information. If wow. you wanted to email them or call them. Then the next line is. Yeah, you the wrote all the, the description too? Yeah, we all did. It was a team effort. And then the account sum summary tells what we did, what we are proposing to do with the account. Wow. So it says here that we didn't backfill an assistant controller's position. Mm -hmm. And then these are the administrative salaries. Mm -hmm. So it's by name, by post, by position, annual salary, and then if there are any stipends, and then the total compensation. Mm -hmm. And it's to give residents a real good perspective as to, you know, what some of the funds are being spent Anyone on. can just access this directly? Anybody, yep. It's on the city's website 24-7. Uh, and you can go on and peruse anytime you'd like. Why don't you, uh, what, what the city website is? www.cityofmalden.org. Dot cityofmalden.org. Yeah, and it's right on the home page, so you don't have to do a lot of searching around. Beautiful. It's right there. And Very so, great, um, yeah. yeah, you can see it all. It's alphabetical by department. Wow. And you can see some other things that we did. Uh, if we could stop here on insurance stop. costs. Stop. We, we grouped these for the first time. They were... Uh, broken up before. Can we click on insurance costs? Yeah, no, it's just because uh, this would be interesting to see. You know, people yep. I think sometimes forget about these in indirect benefits. But if you go to the um, insurance expenses, insurance expenses, insurance expenses. If you click on that row, uh, the payments rather, insurance payments. Uh, the payments, insurance payments. Yeah, look at so there you can wow. see what it costs the city. To provide health wow. insurance, unemployment insurance, mm -hmm. and that number is actually going down on the health insurance. You know, which um, wow, that's it was once at 21 million, but thanks to Mayor Howard's creativity, he was able to institute a program where now health insurance is going down to the tune of under 20 million. That's amazing. And so that's what's kept the budget intact. Yeah. If it wasn't for that change. We'd be doing a lot more uh, cutting than no we would kidding. be adding. Just say what you want now. Paul can hear you. Okay, so uh, going right down. There's the licensing board. There's the mayor's office. There's the pension costs. Let's click on the mayor's office. All let's right. About the mayor's office. Click on the mayor's office. Let's see. And there's a description that we wrote for people to let them know what we're uh, doing. Okay. And then I put myself right out there. You know, yep. if people have questions. There's my contact information. 
and then next to the salaries. This is another thing that we did. We reconstituted, you know, what the office provides now. Right. So you can see Ron Cochran, he's the director of online services. Yep. Then there's Kevin Duffy doing the business strategy for yep. the city. Then there's Kathleen Manning Hall, who's sort of the chief of staff, chief administrative officer. Karen Hayes and Caroline Desiderio. Caroline Desiderio is doing all the maestro stuff, you know, the scheduling mm -hmm. and getting people in and out and, you know, bringing the parties together that need to be together. Karen Hayes is doing all the outreach. The mm -hmm. one thing I didn't want to lose as mayor is the ability to connect with our nonprofits who are right. trying to make a difference. So that's what Karen Hayes has been doing. Then Paul Hammersley, you know, he's been doing uh, similar to what Ron Cochran's been doing, which is, you know, making sure people know what's going on in the city, whether it's through YouTube, Flickr, Facebook, Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have the two constituent reps down below, Teddy Louis Jacques, who speaks Haitian Creole, and then Yan mm -hmm. Yu, who recently graduated from Emerson College with a master's wow. degree. She speaks Mandarin. Now, your whole staff, that's your mayoral staff right there, right? Yes. Can we go back to that a minute? I want to just ask, did you, um, did you have work experience with any of those members before? I mean, oh, yes. Yep, I've uh, got to know them through my 10 years of public that, service. That you, you hired them? You, yes. I mean, you, so, yep. okay. um, and I have a good rapport with them. I was able which to get them great. really, get to know them so really well team, on the trail. Which, which yep. was great. And um, it, they, they work, and they're averaging seven days a week. Wow. Yeah, they really have given it their all, and uh, I couldn't be prouder to this point of their record. Excellent. And then down below, this is another misnomer, is pension costs. You know, what does it cost the city? Yep. So if you go to um, pension, I think it's the third category, pension costs, click on that. The last row, mm -hmm. pension costs. You can see the costs. So that last one is the uh, contributory pensions and 7.5 million dollars wow. makes up that amount there's pine banks there's one of our consolidated uh proposals to the city council uh paul if you could just scroll up just a little bit uh scroll up uh, right there so this used to be board of health inspectional services right. planning yep compliance municipal hearing yep. we're proposing to bring them all together all right. to be a super unit Wow. You know, because they all have sort of similar functions. You have yeah. Board of Health that's out there looking at code violations. Right, right. You have inspectional services that are mm -hmm. out there looking at building violations. Yeah. So we're going to try and create this one-stop shopping for people. Excellent. So that's one of our major re restructuring proposals Excellent. that's been submitted to the council for their consideration. Uh, if you keep going down, police departments on there, public facilities, recreation department. There's the school department which you can link to their budget to wow. get an idea of what's going on around the different schools, how mm -hmm. they're funded. There's the teen center, you know, no. so that's a new proposal. That's brand new. Correct. So uh, really, no, how, where, where is that going to be held? Is that yeah, if you want to click on it, there's a description of it. Um, right now, you know, until it's up and running, questions will be fielded out of the office of the mayor. Okay. But eventually what we envision happening is there'll be a director and two part-timers that will administer uh, the teen center. Uh, we provided nine months worth of funding, otherwise it would have been 150000 But because we don't think they'll be up and running until September, we appropriated you know, that portion from September to June. Where, where is it? Where is well, we have to put an RFP out, uh, but the teen center task force that really did a lot of work to get us to this point uh, you know, led by Kathy McMullen, Council Lucy, mm -hmm. Beth Roser, and a bunch of other students as well as uh, residents and business mm -hmm. owners alike. Believe the spot is at the corner of Ferry Salem and Main Streets. Okay. You know, we we've reviewed that site along yeah. with others, and uh, that one seems to be the most conducive because of its location to yeah. Malden High School. Right. You know, so it's um, it's great. It's about five thousand square feet. And, um, you know, we believe the sky's the limit. We already have business owners stepping forward offering capital costs, wow. you know, to equip the place because that doesn't have that. Right, That's right. just to administer, to yeah. run the place. Right, so right. we think it has a lot of potential. Right, cool. uh, there's the traffic department, treasurer's department, unclassified accounts. If we could click on the list of accounts, I want to show you. This is where there isn't any particular department responsible for these accounts. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting here that I think you'll like above, if you go up just a little bit, is um, right the second one. You right. know, during that whole meals tax debate, yep. the Malden Restaurant Association really felt that you know some of those funds should be reinvested into exactly. what they're doing here in right. Malden. So what we're proposing to the city council is that 
short of $20,000 be dedicated for a dine-in program to try and draw customers here to Malden oh, wow. to you know, yeah. utilize the uh, new restaurants. Just below that is funding for the public arts projects. I'm sure you've seen mm -hmm. all the switch boxes yeah. around town. So we'll be asking our, uh, you know, our artist group to step forward and continue that. Maybe look at doing another mural and then possibly maybe start doing some artwork right in the middle of our crosswalks. Oh. I've seen that in other cities and towns and I'm okay. intrigued with the concept. Right below that I think is one of your favorites, uh, Joe, is we're going to allocate funding for uh, Fellsmere Pond. Excellent. You know, try to fix some of those benches yeah. and lighting yeah. and, nice. you know, continue with the restoration there. And then just some of the other ones uh, nice. without uh, looking at them too closely, we are proposing to increase the Memorial Day and Veterans Day observances. Mm -hmm. And then the Independence Day events we're also looking to uh, increase. Well, what do you do, Independence Day, what does that consist of the event? That's, That's the uh, ward events. You know, every event, uh, every ward has a July and fireworks and Independence so Day celebration. Yeah, uh, we'll look at doing that. Uh, the other thing that should be uh, listed is just above, um, Paul, if you go back just a little bit, the salary reserve there. We're proposing that obviously our contractual obligations are funded, which is part of that figure. But also within that figure is $75,000 that I'm asking to be set aside for employees who garner successful evaluations. Um, I think the way it's been done in the past, it was always piecemeal and there wasn't any rhythm mm -hmm. to how people advanced in grades or by step. So we've put this reserve in place to be administered by our policy and salary review committee, which is led by Eleanor Cushing, the HR director to determine whether or not an employee is, uh, you know, warranted any kind of a step increase or a grade increase. And how they're going to do that is through not only evaluations, but look at, at other cities and towns to determine what that comparable position's worth is. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and give it some, you know, some teeth. Right. Instead of just saying, all right, because I know you, I'm going to give you a step increase. Right. Right. Everybody will fall under this prism here. So right. we're hoping that'll be successful as well. And I think we round out the rest of the document. If you scroll down, um, there's veteran services, which we began the creation of the budget with. Um, you know, one of the things I've always felt to pull together a budget, it should always start with the men and women who have, you know, defended the country, who have right. put us in the position that we find ourselves today. No so we took um, our officer's uh, request first, Kevin Jarvis. And that's how we started the budget proposal. Wow. So there'll be a 10 percent increase uh, within that account. And then you go down below at the end of the general fund there's the water and sewer enterprise fund, which we have a lot of work to do there. The, 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 the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority is going to be assessing our city uh, close to I think it's 12 percent. So rates are going to have to go up and so what I'm proposing that we do is really beef up um, the personnel we have in that fund to get at where the unaccounted water is going, uh, making sure that our aging infrastructure gets replaced over, you know, a set number of years. Because mm -hmm. as you know, a lot of the water main and infrastructure yep. stuff was built back in the late 1800s. We must replace it. Well, yeah, and no so problem. I'm asking that, you know, we dedicate, um, you know, a crew there to make sure that's being done. But that's the online version you're looking at. Mm -hmm. And if you scroll back up, um, you can, just see all the categories and we just tried to make it you know click and see you know mm -hmm. so that was oh, the yeah. idea behind it to give um, residents and business owners now are the <coughs> cities and towns doing I'm not sure I'm not sure but I, this was a vision I had yeah. when I became mayor based on my prior budget experience right. I wanted to make this uh, as transparent and as user-friendly mm -hmm. as we could for um, the council and everybody else right. in the city now you know if people don't have access to a computer we will, you know, have printed copies right. available, but we're really trying to make an effort to get away from right, the, right. the big bound copies that had yep. uh, previously been exactly. submitted in years past. So that's um, that's it in, uh, in you know, in a quick great my proposal. God. Yeah. So nothing major was cut. Uh, well, so there were. Um, let me think the best way to describe it. The budget is being pro proposed to go up five percent, roughly, roughly five percent. Uh, when the school department is um, taken out of the equation, the increase is really almost 1%. So you may ask how were we able to do some of these programs with just a 1% increase. Mm -hmm. The way we were able to do it is through restructuring, consolidation, not backfilling, uh, laying off, and shifting some positions 
to make this work. Mm -hmm. That's how we were able to keep it to a 1% increase outside of the school department. Well, well great job. That's how we were able to do it, yeah. yeah. Because if we didn't have that restructuring, layoffs, yeah. positions not backfilled, different ball game. Maybe we can call the federal government and give them some tips. I think that might be uh, <laughs> Yeah, we, we spent certainly February, March, April, May, four months on it. Wow. Yeah, and I think we you know, felt that that's what you know, this proposal deserves. This is the, the blueprint for 12 months, so we really wanted to give it everything we had Excellent. to get it right. So now it's in the council's hands. Uh, I know they'll do their due diligence, mm -hmm. as they always do, uh, but we're hopeful that uh, we'll be able to you know, reach a decision by June 30th on our budget. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. It's well done. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, load off, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. So now you can just kick back and... Uh, <laughs> right back at it. Uh, this morning I was at Malden High School for the internship program at 9 a.m. Wow. You know, you would think you'd take a day or two off, yep. but no, no rest for the weary. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so maybe a little summertime, you'd be off for the summer. Maybe take a little bit yeah, of... Yeah, I have either. to. I have to. The staff's yeah. been after me. My family's been after me. Yeah. Um, so, you know, know I, I, I'm hoping July, August to be able to get a little Excellent. retreat in. Now, any mayoral uh, conferences or would you... I mean, doesn't that happen usually? You know, I you, you know I, I haven't been able to take advantage as many as I, I would have liked. Um, I've attended uh, a couple of them. Mm -hmm. So I've met uh, my fellow mayors, newly elected Mayor Rizzo from Riviere, mm -hmm. um, Betancourt from Peabody, and of course, you know, we've seen Mayor McGlynn and Mayor right. DeMaria and Mayor Curtitone. So mm -hmm. uh, I've been able to do um, a little networking, and, and, mm -hmm. uh, but this is so consuming well, yeah, that... Yeah. Um, you know, I haven't been able to get to his now, any of the conferences. Any uh, any chats with the governor? Are you met him uh, on a couple of occasions? First, he had all the newly elected mayors in back in I December, that. Yep. and that uh, we have the picture in oh, in the nice. office. Uh, it's a moment I'll never forget. Excellent. And then we had him out here to announce uh, innovation school grants at the Linden School, and then recently uh, Lieutenant Governor Murray was out here on some energy efficiency programs Excellent. that our residents are taking advantage oh, of. Wow. So, but it's hard to really get outside yep. based upon everything that's going on inside. Right. And to right. me, that is the priority. Yep. So I really try to work around what's going on here in Malden. But Mayor Menino, they reached out to you. Yes, I'm actually, uh, you know, people ask me, you know, first five months, who do you try to emulate yourself after? Of course, it always falls back to our, our sheriff, yep. uh, Sheriff DePaulo, sure. but uh, Mayor Menino's a close second. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've always been impressed with his ability to be everywhere, yeah. it seems, it's within yeah, the city. Exactly. And, uh, and he does, that. matter of fact, and I got two two pieces of mail today, one from you and one from uh, Mayor Menino. He was at an event in Boston. I was actually the Taste of the North End a few weeks back. Yeah. And he came by our booth, and a photographer has snapped a picture. He was on crutches. He yeah. hurt his foot a few weeks back. He took the time to write a little note on and send me a picture, which I thought was very nice. So I'm getting something from the mayor of Malden, mayor of Boston. Well, look at this. And it was nice to see that you both, you know, took the time to do that. Which yeah, we're trying to do that as well. I mean, um, uh, students that come into the office, we try to send them a little picture with a, you know, a note, mm -hmm. letting them know to keep up the good work. You mentioned jobs for, uh, for, for summer jobs. Yes. What, what are you implementing for that? What's... Tell me what's uh, well, it's that. a whole uh, new undertaking. That program used to exist within the Human Services Department. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they, they do a great job with our seniors. So we felt it was uh, incumbent upon us to, um, you know, uh, administer the program from the mayor's office. So that's what we're doing. Karen Hayes, along with Caroline Desiderio and Teddy Louis Jacques, have been, um, you know, reformatting, retooling the program to try right. and offer more opportunities for our teens. Right. So we just had an application process, and what mm -hmm. we did this year that I think is a little bit different from years past, each student had to submit a personal statement right. uh, along with references and right. along with, I think, some other information. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I'm trying to say is we're trying to move away from you know, someone that knows someone that knows someone. Right, right, We're really yeah. trying to make it so uh, the students get a lot out of the yeah. process, yeah. not only the job, but the process itself. Right. So we've done that. We've had close to, I believe, 400 applications oh, wow. by our outreach and the new way we're trying to what do What are things. the ages? What, what, they the range from all 14 up, 14 which is great to see. Right. But the thing I'll remember my first five months is just watching these uh, students come in and you could just see the excitement and the, um, the interest in trying to work during yeah. the summer, which is a goal of ours because right. 
that I think the more kids you have working, you right. know, the better off the city will be, not only in the short, short term, but in the long term. Right. So right now we're screening, you know, we're going over the applications, making sure everything's in order. And of course, everything's tied to funding. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've proposed to the city council that we allocate above and beyond what we've provided right. in the past in an attempt to try and get more kids working. If you look at last year's statistics, we had 130 teens working. There were 350 applications. Wow. Right now, under the proposal we have with the grants that are also being provided by uh, the state government, um, we're close to 250 that we could fund if the city council supports the proposal. Mm -hmm. And none of this would be possible uh, without the great efforts of uh, Senator Clark and our you know, state reps, Brodeur, mm -hmm. Fallon, Donato, because local aid went up right. for us, uh, a little over, uh, I think it was two and a half, a little over two and a half million dollars. Wow. So, you know, Speaker DeLeo and Senate mm -hmm. President Murray have really done a great job in tough times to, you know, give, you know, our city's hope. Right. So that's what we're trying to do yeah. with this proposal. Let me ask you this now, um, a lot of, it's election year, big, big year coming up. Yes. Are you... Uh, going to support anybody or back anybody? No time. No yes, time. There's no really? time. I no. can't even get to the convention next <laughs> weekend. I no want to be here. There's a there's an Eagle Scout that's uh, taking the oath uh -huh. on Saturday. And like I was telling you, uh, to me, that's the most important thing to be at. Yeah. And so I'm staying oh, back wow. purposely to be at this uh, Eagle Scout. No kidding. Oath oh, of that's that's yeah. very nice. Wow. Yeah. So I haven't really been able to pay much attention. But, you know, Kathleen Manning Hall and in our office, yeah. uh, did a lot of work on President Obama's campaign mm -hmm. in the years past. So, um, you know, she's obviously, you know, really watching closely right. uh, what occurs at the federal mm -hmm. level. Right. Yeah. And even at uh, the first United States Senator, it's yep. been hard to really, you know, do much yep. beyond what uh, we've done already because it's just for a first term mayor. Yep. It takes a while. Yep. You know, Mayor Absolutely. Howard said it's going to take a while to get a rhythm. Oh, well, yeah. No you know, question. So. You know, but hopefully post July fourth we'll have yeah. one. You know, fantastic. Yeah, and now uh, the ballpark. What, yes. What's up with that? We're continuing to work on it. We had Alexander Bark on your show uh, last time we were here, and uh, he's continuing to negotiate and work with National Grid uh, and the three business owners on Canal Street because those properties are part of the proposal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're still hoping that uh, they'll break ground in January, February, two thousand thirteen, and you know, opening day would occur in April 2014. Wow. He's as uh, gung-ho as he was when he initially laid out the proposal, which is a credit to him and his team. Excellent. Yeah, you could see the enthusiasm. Uh, I could tell one uh, thing recently that he's really serious about this. He um, took up office space in Pleasant Street. Wow. Yeah, I think he's at 6 Pleasant, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and he uh, changed the name of um, uh, his business card. He used to say Baseball Field of Dreams. Now it says Malden Ballpark. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's so, promising. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah I, I've been in uh, this, I guess for lack of a better word, business now for 10 plus years. He's one of the nicest people I've uh, met. Oh, wow. Yeah, I really well, genuinely nice wants to do the right thing. I mean, uh, he's already stated it's going to be union built. Wow. Uh, the jobs resulting from the build out of the park will go to Malden residents. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Real. Well, that's excellent. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, City Hall, any plans on it coming Well, down? I mean, we're continuing to work on it. I've staked my term on it. So if uh, something doesn't happen there, then, mm -hmm. you know, I will consider it a failure. Okay. Uh, but, you know, uh, we just had an update recently, so we're starting to weigh our options. Mm -hmm. You know, the tricky part of it all is what we do. You know, we also have to consider the police department right. because they're part of the exactly utilities right, that right. we share at City yeah. Hall. So, uh, but again, um, you know, beating the drum mm -hmm. that we must do something, not just because it's been a goal of the cities for a long time, but for the employees right. and the residents and the business owners that yeah. utilize mm -hmm. that um, that center, right. you know, it, we could do better. Right. We must do better. Right. So that's the idea. Excellent. Yeah. Um, let me see. Anything else? It's uh, well. Let me ask you. I mean, I know you're a sports enthusiast tonight, Celtics. Tonight, yeah. Well, yeah. Any yeah. Chance, I'm, I'm, no, I'm. I'm hoping um, it's going to be tough to win the series, but. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, the, you know, it was it was funny because the other night I was very upset because I was actually um, kind of out to Home Depot, and I'm coming home and I, uh, it, the game had started. They were only down by eight points, which is four baskets. In basketball, it's nothing. Yeah, nothing. And the the announcers were already on the radio, like fresh. Oh, you know, it's going to be a bad game and all this. And I'm like, oh, geez. And I came home, my son's watching the game, and you know, I'm like, wow. You know, they went eight to six to four. 
at the half, they were tied. Right. I mean, I thought... And, and Same here. For the amount of baskets they made, I mean, there was no rhythm there. Right. I mean, Paul Pierce was non-existent. Ray Allen couldn't even get a, uh, a free throw. Right. It was amazing. Right. And I was shocked that they, they did as well as they did. So you think they missed an opportunity? Yeah, they yeah. missed an opportunity. They, they were tired. I mean, you could tell. I mean, for them to finish up Saturday night late, right. you know, it was a late Real game, flight. long game, yeah. a grueling. They did two seven-game series. True. So now it's the third series. They were, Miami were home relaxing. They won several days earlier. Okay, they didn't have to get in a plane and travel. A younger team, younger legs. So, you know, I almost think uh, I would have bet money that Miami was going to win anyway. And I was surprised it was close as it was at the half. And, yeah. and even it wasn't until about the fourth quarter where they really started, you know. I think the Celts ran out of gas, and I think the Heat just picked up a bit. You yeah, know? right, right. But, you know, tonight is a, a different game. I'm, I'm, I'm hope, hopeless. Optimistic. That's same. My feeling is. And I, I just hate to see the end of the big three. Exactly. And, yeah. That's know. the thing. Well, I mean, who knows? I mean, I think Ray Allen may be gone, but yeah. I mean, you don't know about KG if he stays yeah. or goes. I mean, yeah. it's you know. But I think I mean, it's amazing. And I would have bet money a few months ago they wouldn't have gone this far. Yeah. So um, well, I'm, I'm still uh, licking my wounds from the Patriots. I renewed yeah. my uh, season tickets. I think on the last day. I was so yeah, upset. Yeah. You know, I just that was, was that so was not brave. Yeah. You know, I'll never forget yeah. my nephew. He was just distraught. Yeah. You know, I mean, to have that happen yeah. twice. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But we renewed it. You know, yeah. we think th we'll, they'll be right back in the yep. mix. Exactly. And then the Red Sox seem to be oh, finding their way. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's a disappointment. I yeah. don't know if, if Tito really was that right. good of a manager or what. I mean, Valentine, I think he, again, it, it, it's, it's chemistry and yeah. dynamics, and I just... I don't think they've in a rhythm yet. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's it's tough to see them. I mean, they're they're the bottom of the roster yeah. there, which is horrible. You and know? I'm still in disbelief over the Bruins. You know, yeah. first. I mean, yeah. but that then I guess you know you win yeah. the cup, and uh, the Revolution, I guess, are doing pretty well yeah. from what I read. Yeah. So, but that was still you know title town, and yeah. I travel out of state, and, and whenever he's Boston, they say, "Oh, you guys win everything," and I'm thinking, "No, we don't." Yeah. You know, we but you know, really, when you think about it, to be in the playoffs oh, in yeah, every exactly. sport, right. every it's year, true. it's yeah. true. You know? Yeah, it's amazing. So, yeah. Um, but I'm looking forward to tonight's game, and uh, they're coming to Boston for at least two. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, you know, they they they're in three games in Boston here. Yeah. Which, and then the next round, I mean, that yeah. if they well, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Don't forget the biggest game coming up next year is the. Uh, 125th anniversary of Malden vs. Medford football. But is it really? Is so as you skill? know, we've driven by McDonald's Stadium. Yep. It's well under construction now. Wow. So there'll be a new turf field and track, and uh, the scoreboard will be placed toward Route 60. Wow. It'll well, be digital. Well, will that be completed? Uh, September. So that It'll be August and ready for the season. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, so that's exciting. All under your... Uh, well, you yeah. know, Mayor Howard started it. I'm just trying yeah, to finish it. And, yeah. you know, but there's some other people. Don Fermato was a big believer yeah. in redoing the stadium. And uh, so now what we're doing is we're having um, representatives from Medford and Malden meet to start planning the event. So I think we might include, as always, Malden Access Television to have some of the players come in from previous games to oh talk wow. about what the rivalry's been like over the years. Excellent. And then we'll go watch, uh, you know, of course, we'll go watch Malden beat Medford yep. on the 125th uh, yeah. Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, wow, well, that's great. Yeah. I like that. Well, that's, that's really exciting. Yeah. Richard to say, have you spoken to him at all? Or? Not at all. Um, Again, uh, Joe Lawless wouldn't allow me. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But I, uh, in honesty, I just, uh, again, I can't. I've been uh, really spending most of my time. I feel bad. I was actually, and I, and I owe him at least a phone call because um, I was invited last night to a fundraiser. I, I've gotten countless emails from him and his team, and I haven't even responded. Yeah. And then I got a phone call yesterday morning. They're having an event for him at uh, the Union Oyster House in Boston. Oh, okay. And I had every intent on making it there. Yeah. And I, my, my mistake was I shot home first. That'll and do it. I left my house, and uh, probably 15, 20 minutes later than I wanted to, yeah. ran into one big accident. Yeah. And then 93 was backed up. The game was on to the Sox. So yeah. I just, long story short, I, I didn't make it. Cool. <laughs> I called. I was about 20 minutes. I would have been there 20 minutes before it ended. Yeah. It ended at 7. I didn't want to walk in then. So well, I'll I, tell you what. The great thing about being mayor as well, uh, I'm most, I'd say, Quarter of the time, I'm walking to work. That's great. Yeah. What? No yeah. kidding. I just wow. leave the car at home and walk down. Oh. And it's good, too, because I'm able to be on the ground seeing what's... <laughs> yeah. Oh, they no, don't, uh, the workers don't like it. There's, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, there's no staff with you? There's no... No, no, no. I, I go by myself. Really? Um, yeah, I, I've never thought in those terms. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it would happen by now, believe <laughs> me. Some of the issues I've been through. But it's... Uh, 
it's great to watch. Well, that's it's great. You're not, you're not being a chauffeur, which right. is nice. Oh, yeah. Man yeah. Of the As a matter people. of fact, when we go to events, I usually do most of the driving. You know, I own a hybrid. Yeah. So I it's, like, it's like, you know, you're just zipping Listen it out of traffic. That's great. Yeah. But uh, it's also interesting to walk over that bike path that's being installed. Yeah. Uh, they're closing in, and, you know, so couldn't be uh, happier for Steve Winslow and the rest of the members mm -hmm. of that bike to the sea organization they've been pushing for nearly 20 years i think wow. yeah, on that yeah, path yeah, yeah. so if, you, if you're driven by you've seen yep. the tracks are yeah, out and yeah so they're getting close oh good now i've been up to the office since you've been in yeah any did you changes in the office did you uh, is it the same layout did you no nope. totally different uh when you walk in now uh there's two desks and two people staring you uh right in the face okay and so what our thinking was there by doing that is you know immediately let people know when they come in you know, welcome to the office. Mm -hmm. You know, how can we help you? Okay. You know, try to really make people feel mm -hmm. comfortable uh, for what could be considered uh, timid office. Although you never know with our staff, they're really uh, engaging and friendly with everyone. Mm -hmm. But that's the first change we made. And then um, uh, the offices that go down that are adjacent to the mayor's office. Again, we've there's a lot of social media going on in mm -hmm. those offices, trying to reach people in different uh, ways to let yeah. them know what's going on. And then uh, having someone dedicated to the business community. Ironically enough, Kevin Duffy is in uh, his dad's former office. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so I love that um, oh, the history. And so, but he's been a you know real um, benefit for the businesses and myself to keep you know that network together. You still work closely with Steve Wachowski and the uh, yep. MRA. They're right around. You know, they're down the end of the hall. Uh, Kevin Duffy's been meeting with them weekly, uh, mm -hmm. and then I meet with them periodically. Mm -hmm. You know to make sure that our, our agendas are aligned and uh you talk about business anything coming to town that we should know about any any well we've done a host i mean if you watch that businesses? show that we did here we had i thought eight businesses come well, in to talk about you know their yeah. grand openings and what they're trying to bring to malden uh the indian bazaar took up the yep. uh former converse restaurant right. uh guadalajara mexican grill opened yep. up uh, right behind city hall yep. so we Is had open <laughs> it's open hour yep yeah, the grand opening last week. Okay. And then uh, Precious Memories, who is uh, Bridal Gowns. Okay, Corner yeah, of Ferry yeah, and Easton. Yeah, they were going to okay. leave the city, but, you know, through Kevin's efforts and a great business owner here in Malden, Joe Salinas, mm -hmm. they're now going to stay in Malden and expand. Fantastic. So, you know, those stories are big developments, if you're referring to. Any chains or anybody? <coughs> uh, well, big developments, Overlook. I think it's going to get ready for phase yep. two of their okay. development. Uh, combined properties, as you know, submitted a proposal mm -hmm. on uh, Super Fitness, redeveloping yep. that site that's been approved by the city. And then the old Granada Lanes, the former Granada Lanes, yep. is soon to be redeveloped to a mixed use. Really? Excellent. Yeah. So those uh, will hopefully keep us going because, um, as I told the residents, uh, that is our only way forward, mm -hmm. is really trying to get business owners to come in and invest. Right. Now, Bird of Life is a, an organization you're very involved with. Yes. You, yep. you stepped to their you, open house. Are you you not the uh, you the president? No, nope. they are president now. Uh, very fortunate uh, for the organization in the city is John Matheson. Okay, sure. He served as vice president when I was oh, president, well. and uh, I couldn't think of a more logical That's choice. Right. To He's an attorney and city councilor as well. So. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, He's it's following just, your footsteps, I yeah, think. Yeah, I He's think he, like, you know, we just both really appreciated what they uh, do for us and mm -hmm. so he's taken the same interest as I have Excellent. and now he's doing from all accounts a superb job mm -hmm. of you know uh, managing to of serving as president. What about your involvement with the chamber? You've been involved? With the yeah as a matter of fact one of the first changes we did make uh, in January is now Ted Coates is a part of our department head meetings. Oh no kidding. So as we go around the uh, table anything that might impact the business community Great you know, Ted knows about it right away Wow. and anything that the business community is going to do that might impact the city we know that's fantastic so we're trying to align the stars yeah. better and that's so excellent. that's been great yeah how often are those meetings uh bi-weekly so every two weeks every two weeks. yeah great. we have them up in the mayor's office at some point i'm hoping to take them on the road mm -hmm. you know maybe do them somewhere else in the city mm -hmm. well we have plenty of space to always yeah for meeting if you want to have a meeting at our place love to host it so yeah and i know uh council matheson's doing a great job as well you know supporting the business community. Yep, no, his recent show. Up, yep, yeah, yeah, it looked great. Did some taping. Yep, it was fun to yep. do. And then Taste of Malden. And yep. So. And now the big uh, dinner's coming up, the uh, stars, of the, yep. the shining stars. Looking forward to that. Yep. And That's the thing that uh, has impressed me, too. As a city council, you don't really 
appreciate it as much as you do as mayor, but it's just seeing all these uh, organizations trying to make a difference. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, it's amazing, yeah. you know. A lot of passion. The people in Malden have great passion. That's for sure. Now, let me ask you a question. So you always in a suit now. Do yes. You, Every, and I feel bad I didn't wear a tie today, and I said, geez, of all the days. That's okay. You, but, I mean, you do every day. Do you <laughs> For the most part. Really? Uh, yeah, even more so now. When I was working for the Middlesex Sheriff's Office, uh, they would have casual Fridays. Yep, you don't do that at all. Though. Yeah, as mayor, it's a little bit different. I mean, the times, it is casual for our office, but for me, it's, it's hardly because yeah. there are meetings. That's we try to pack in as many things mm -hmm. as we can. And there's no day that's sacred, so you know we. The city hall closes early on Fridays. Yes, at noon. Yeah. But our office, we're there till five, six at night. Really? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know, to give you an example of how dedicated the staff is, uh, last night we had just finished our budget proposal. And we came upstairs to go over, uh, you know, some loose ends, and uh, Teddy Louis Jacques, who is the constituent constituent yeah. services rep, he took a call at nine o'clock, picked up the phone, and it was a resident that. Um, had lost water. Nope. He was able to call the, you know, the applicable staff. Nope. They went over and fixed the water leak. Oh my God! Yeah. Wow. So that service. Now he could have easily just let that go to voicemail. Right, right. But he took the call and the. And um, the resident though, yeah. though must have been very actually, pleased. Actually, actually, the only thing is the resident said, "Geez, you should be mayor." Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah, that's the kind of uh, service I'm looking for that's from excellent. people. Yeah. yeah. Because they are our customers. Yeah. So we try. We should be doing as much as we can. So well, them. you're doing a great job. I mean, it's thank you. It shows. I mean, you're you're so committed and yes, and uh, enthused about it, which is nice to see. You know, usually, some people will campaign for an office and then they get in the office and they sit back and yeah, they become you know content. But you, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, it's yeah. obvious. So I could see the, uh, you know, the potential's there for that, and that's why I try to keep busy, mm -hmm. keep out there, and. You know, and hopefully these things we're doing will help the city move forward. Yeah. But, you know, I've, I've also realized the first five months, it's not just going to be me, the staff, City Hall. It's, it's going to be the residents. And, no push. you know, I, I think these modes of communication that we're installing are, are really helping us. Mm -hmm. uh, people are sending us stuff through Facebook and Twitter and, you know, uh, YouTube comments. And, and you're on Facebook. Yes. Yourself, yeah. Yep. Yep. So mm -hmm. we're now, uh, you know, we did the cash mob, which I think yep. you mentioned was yep. intriguing. You exactly. Know, so yeah. I think the next thing that uh, Ron Cochran and staff have uh, concocted is uh, retail, I think it's called retail dating. So you bring your dinner to, I don't know, Pumpsies, I don't oh know, and you wow. set up tables. I, I forget exactly yeah. how it works, but oh, nice. the fact that they're thinking about these That's kinds of excellent. things. That's excellent. He's a new, new age mayor, mayor, which is great. Yeah. And then uh, we, we need to mention, too, about uh, the farmer's market. That's coming. Uh, yes. Yeah, we're looking forward Just to that. A few short weeks. Yeah, right collaboration between the chamber, the city, yep. uh, the, the business MRA, community. Yep. Yeah, so we're, we're excited about that. So it's going to be on Tuesdays from 3 to 6, yes. I believe. Yes, yep. Starting, uh, I think it's just in June, early June. Yeah, I think it's June uh, 18th. Yeah. I can't I believe I don't have that off the tip. Uh, I'm slipping. The 18th, I think it's the 19th. Let's take a look. The 19th. That's a good thing about technology. The 19th. We're going to find Which out right now. 19th it is. We do that. It. See, we're participating and I'm looking forward to doing it. So yeah, absolutely. It's uh, We did it last summer. It was great doing it. So yep. we set up again. I think it's going to be a, a really good uh, good thing to have it every week. And um, right in City Hall Plaza, which yep. can't beat the location. So. Yep. Yeah, we were just down your way the other day, too. Uh, Paul Hammersley and I were uh, part of the Malden Regatta. Oh, no that kidding. river has a lot of potential. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We had uh, 12, I think, cities and towns, schools that were in to participate, wow. to compete no in the kidding. Regatta. So. Uh, we were able to um, get on the boat with Coach Campbell to oh, nice. really get a good look at, you know, what's uh, been going on there. Yeah. And it was it was amazing. There's a video nice. of it on our website. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So. Well, Mayor Gary Christensen did a great job. And Thank you. We've got uh, Paul here, and trustee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the look. The the, the jacket, the tie, look, the shirt, the tie. <laughs> he doesn't so. want to be. He's in the in the, uh, in the background there. Yeah. So Francis, anything what? you want to add before we uh, say goodnight? No, I'm just checking the time there. Okay. I should say on the clock there. I have to put glasses on to see that, Francis. We got oh. an old see. I don't know what this says here. This is. 
I, uh, this is this is not, this is five of eight. You can't tell. What does it tell you here? I don't, it's moving. It tells you how much time you got left. I've got oh two minutes and five seconds. I guess that's it what is. it is. It's okay. one minute. Well, let me just put in another plug. My mom <laughs> wanted me to ask you know all the residents to make sure yep. they pick up Adam Lambert's new album. Trespass. Okay. Trespass yeah. is the new album. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. I think we heard Adam Lambert singing the Queen. This yes. Summer. Yeah, this really? summer. Oh, let me wow. see the picture again. Can you bring it up? Can you bring up the pictures? Let's look at the picture one more time. I want to show you that close-up uh, to show how gracious he was. You know, he took the stayed picture in front of the Kiss 108 banner. Yeah. He did an interview Jeff and then came well. around. And wow. uh, he said, uh, he, you know, he took the time to take another picture. <laughs> no kidding. Which to me says a lot about him. Wow. And I keep how tall he is. I yeah, he's very he tall. tall. He's going to be 6'4". 6'3", 6'4". Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But really nice. Uh, I told him... Um, how much I appreciated uh, what he's done for my mom and her, you know, yeah. her spirits, and you know, that's, well, that's yeah, he was something. That's great. Yeah, that Billy she, Costa was great, great host. He's a great guy. He yeah, really he made us it. feel yeah. right at home. And his uh, Kendra, Kendra's Patrona, sweeter, yeah. Patroni, I think yep. her name. Yep. She was solid. Sweeter, yeah. yeah. And then we met uh, um, Paul. Uh, I forget the last name, but he was also. He's from Malden. Malden, yeah, yeah. You told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That really nice guy. Oh, excellent, yeah. great. Was your mother a fan this year? American Idol. She yeah, she fan? still watches it, but um, you know, this is her. Yeah, you know, her following. Yeah. yeah, she's a member of Glam Nation. Oh, excellent. Well, yeah. Well, good to hear. Yeah. Well, I want to wish your mother a happy birthday again, yeah, and thank glad you. she's on the road to uh, to feeling better. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank and you. Nice to have you as Mr. Mayor. Thank you. I and know. the third week of every month, you're going to be hosting the show, which yep. is great. Or someone from the office will be here. Fantastic. Yeah, and I'll great. be in the second and the fourth. And, All right. and Lucy will be here in the first. So um, anyway, it's the official, unofficial start of summer. Yep. Which Looking is great. The it. weather's beautiful. And uh, good evening, Malden. It's great, uh, great to be here in Malden. Okay. Have a good night. We're still on. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it the